And final main topic, and something a little bit more fun and loving to talk about. And that is something I've been talking about all year long. And I don't think I'm going to stop talking about it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about it everywhere, every every time, time. all All of the the time. time. And that is everything, everywhere, all at once, leading the 2023 Oscar nominations as predicted here on the channel by yours truly um, in a channel in a video not that long ago months ago when we first started the show um, where I have the uh, great uh, Michelle Yo up with oh. a bunch of championship rings on yeah, right. insinuating that there would be lots of championships won for this movie as it should um, Let's look at this article I have pulled up over here um, coming to us um, from Vulture. And I just want to use this because this is the one I found first that had a like full layout. So for best picture, we have first All Quiet on the Western Front, which I keep going by and thinking, man, it looks good. And then I Google it and see the Rotten Tomatoes score. And I'm like, damn. Sounds good. And then I'm like, I hate wars. Never going to watch it. Avatar, The Way of Water. This is surprising to me. This really is surprising to me. Um, I think that this gets a lot of that attention and love because, again, it is like the best looking movie I've ever seen. Um, the Banshees of Insurance. I haven't seen this one. Elvis. Elvis has been nominated for Best Picture. I'm just going to say it. It's a down year at the Academy Awards. Yeah. It is what it is. Everything, everywhere, all at once, which is clearly the superior oh, movie oh. of this whole list so far of everything we've named. Let's get it. Um, one second here. And let's see. We go on to... Uh, Spielberg's new movie, The Fablemans, which I still haven't had a sh- uh, chance to check out. Clay- Kate Blanchett's Tar, which I still have not had the chance to check out. Top Gun Maverick, which, again, this is a surprise. This is a weird Oscars, right? Yeah. This seems like it's like, oh, let's pick all the things people liked, which is like the opposite right. of what the Oscars has done since the beginning of time. In fact, they've always kind of criticized um uh Marvel the Marvel franchise and Marvel movies for doing so but it appears that yeah in a, in this year we're going to get Elvis Avatar Top Gun um the fact that Black Panther 2 is not on this list or something one of those is just shocking to me at this point right. um we move on to The Triangle of Sadness and Woman Talking which I know nothing about some of these movies. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, my bias tells me that this is an easy, clean sweep award, yeah. win, award win for everything, everywhere, all at once, which I cannot express enough, enough, guys, if you have not seen this film. You must. It is a must-see film. Now, let's see. We move on to Best Director, which first up is Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinhart from, you guessed it, Everything, everywhere, all at once. And then we have Martin McDonough for the Banshees of Insurance and Todd Phil for Tar, Steven Spielberg for the Fablemans, and Ruben Oslin for Triangle of Sadness. This seems like another no-brainer to me. Um, best Actor. Again, and a must-be down year at the Oscars. Austin Butler, new cover, has been nominated would, for Elvis. He should be nominated for that. Okay, for sure. all I want to say is, was Taron Egerton, Egerton nominated for uh, the the biopic on Elton John? Because if not, then I don't care. I don't know. He may have been. He should have been. He should have been. He, if this guy's getting it. Yeah. Then he should have been. Yeah, because that's the same level of performance. Um, Colin Farrell and the Banshees of Insurance. God, I got to see that. Let me some Colin Farrell. Brendan Fraser. That my boy. Making the comeback of a lifetime. We're in the the Fraser Assance. Um, (laughs) For the whale, the movie I keep telling you guys I want to get out and see. I'm going to try. And then uh, Paul Mescal for After Sun. And then Bill Nye for Living. Um, no, no, um, uh, best actor nom for Michelle Yeoh, guys. 
Really? She deserves Come both. on, over Austin Butler? Come on. Come on. Where are we at? Uh, be, uh, best actress. Oh, I mean, not Michelle Yeoh. I mean, uh, what's I his know. name? The short round guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe he's best supporting. Okay, guy. we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. He better be. He right. should be. I think he's probably supporting. Best actress, Kate Blanchett? Probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anna de Armas and Blonde? No way! But I do oh, love me some Anna de Armas. I, I would watch uh, her just. Ma- like, yeah, I just watch her read the phone book. Yeah. She could just read names she out of the phone read book. One name over and over again. Yeah, just this is like a gif. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shernan uh, and then Michelle Yeoh for everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, Michelle Williams for the Fablemans and Andrea Riseborough for To Leslie, which again never even heard of. Best Supporting Actor. We better see it. Brendan Gleeson from Banshees of Airsham. Wow, uh, that Judd movie Hirsch like from The Fablemans. Up, Barry bro. Kogan from The Banshees of Airsham. ki Kwan from Ki-hoo. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. And one of my big favorite um, actors out there, Brian Tyree Henry for The Causeway. That's great. Brian Tyree Henry has been nominated for an Academy Award. Uh, let's see. Best Supporting Actress. Of course, it's none other than Angela Bassett for Black true. Panther Wakanda Forever, which I'm going to say now, I think that that's going to take it. Um, we also have Carrie Condon for the Banshees of Insurum. Lots of stuff for the Banshees of Insurum here. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis, of course, from Everything Everywhere All at Once. And Stephanie Husu from Everything Everywhere All at Once. And Hong Chow from The Whale. Best original screenplay um, goes again to Tar, The Fablemans, Everything Everywhere, All at Once, The Banshees of Arisham, and Triangle of Sadness. Best adapted, looks like Living, Ryan Johnson's Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. That's interesting. Nice. Um, Sarah Poli, Woman Talking, Edgar Berger, Ian Sokol, and Leslie Peterson, and All Quiet on the Western Front. Best cinematography, um... Looks like Ellis, Elvis, Tar, All Quiet on the Western Front, and Bardo, False Chronicle of the Handful of Truths. That sounds fun. Right? <laughs> Never got to check that out. Uh, best film edi- editing. Go to the band, see if it's from Elvis. There's too much Elvis. There's no way that it deserves to be this many listed on the Academy Awards. Uh, <laughs> Top Gun Maverick is also in editing. I could see that. See, now that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. You need some serious editing That's skills like editing to, make, to make that work. Uh, yeah, bro. For sure. Best original song. I'm guessing we're going to see a Rihanna in here. Um, applause from Tell It Like a Woman. Hold My Hand from Top Gun Maverick. Lift Me Up from Black Black Panther Wakanda Forever. There it is. And Natu Natu from RRR. First nomination for RRR. You would think it would have got a little bit more love there in the um, best director and best picture category. This is a life from everything, everywhere, all at once. Best music, a.k.a. original score. It's all quiet on the Western Front. Babylon gets a little bit in here. Uh, the Banshees of Insurum, uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and The Fablemans. Um, best visual effects. It's going to be all quiet on the Western Front again. Avatar The Way of Water, the clear winner. Somehow it makes it in with its first nomination, The Batman for Best Visual Effects. Wait a Screw you, wait Academy a Awards. Wait just a fucking... So Elvis... <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Right. I can't do right. this no more. Screw you, Academy Awards. I'm out. Uh, also, Black Panther. What is that? Also, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, uh, Top Gun Maverick, um, Best Production Design, Elvis, The Fablemans, Avatar, The Way of Water, Babylon, All Quiet on the Western Front, and Best Documentary Feature Film, um, which I haven't seen any of these yet. All the Breaths. All the Beauty and the Bloodshed, Fire of Love, A House Made of Splinters, and Navalny. All these sound interesting. Uh, Best Documentary Short Film. Eh, We don't care as much. Best Animated Feature Film. Here we go. Uh, Del Toro's Pinocchio. Wonderful film. Marcel, The Shell with the Shoes On. I hear great things and want to see it. Hey, one that really deserves it. I'm glad to see it on the list. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish gets a chance at this. And uh, also The Sea Beast, which I do not know, but I do know Turning Red, which was also a very good good one one. as well. That's really good. Um, Let's see if there's anything else in here. Uh, Best Sound, we have All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, The Batman, 
for its second bid here, Elvis Finally. and Top Gun Maverick. Uh, best makeup and hairstyle, all quiet on the Western front. The Batman again, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Elvis, and The Well. And the Batman and The Well specifically, I want to say, very deservedly so. Um, they made Colin Farrell look unrecognizable yeah, like as a, the Penguin. And then they man. made... You know, Brandon Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. We know what freaking. we're saying. Uh, best costume design, uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Elvis, Miss Harris Goes to Paris, Babylon, everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, I would like to say that it's surprising to not see Batman in that one as well. Um, but yeah, so we're seeing this, um, this stuff coming out of the Oscars. Trevor, uh, you know, I don't know. What really I expected other than, you know, everything everywhere all at once to just freaking yeah. storm in and take everything. I believe it was nominated for a total of 11 Academy Dang. Awards, um, which is putting tied, it right? close up there to the record. I think the, the record's 11, right? I thought it was 12. And it's uh, The Return of the King and, that was and something the else. Titanic. I think. Yeah, maybe. Um, and I, so I think, th and if not, I mean, then, then maybe it is 11, and then, then it's tied. I mean, again, deservedly so. This movie's really good. But Trevor, you're hearing this information. You're seeing all these names and numbers. What sticks out the most to you? Are there any snubs that you see that, hey, why isn't this on there? Obviously, I think that, um, you know, all of the Elvis stuff, and, you know, coming from a guy who hasn't seen the movie, so, you know, I guess take it with a grain of salt. But, Knowing what I got from the Batman, it's hard to see yeah. that name up there so many times and see the Batman so God. few times. Yeah. Uh, I could probably come up with a couple other movies I've seen this year that weren't on that list either. I mean, Northman um, wasn't on there at all. There you go. There's another one. It's I mean, how do you not do that for costume and makeup? Um, also for things. cinematography, yeah, right? for editing, got for it. do best director. Yeah, That's, I mean, lighting. I mean, any of it. Mm -hmm. Score um, had a wonderful score. I, I, I mean, uh, to where do shout I shout out to Robert Eggers, by the way, yeah. one of my favorite filmmakers right now. Yeah, I bet you're somewhere fucking stomping on Elvis CDs. Yeah, right. deservedly so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a thing, man. I mean, so this year I have not gotten to see near as many movies as I would like to, um, but. <laughs> This is a weird list. I mean, I like even with not being able to see a bunch, a bunch of them, I've seen a lot of the ones up there, and I'm just like, even just thinking back, I'm like, has there been no more, like, no no better movies than this? Like, I'm, I'll say this about Elvis. I don't. Elvis was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed Elvis, but as a like, and and Austin as an actor deserved it because he was un. Real good. is it better than the Taron Egerton? Well, but he's not nominated this year. Sure, I understand. But like in a in a vacuum, you've only seen those two movies ever in your life. Which one's the best? I'd have to think. Okay, because uh, so I'm so they're, you, man, so it's yeah, close. They're then. comparable because they're very comparable. because Rocket Man was a good movie. Yes, it was. It really was, but and it's a movie that I would be like, "Fuck no, dude! Don't make me go to this." Is it, you know what? Honestly, and I watched it. I was like. It's a lot like that. It's it's there there I think maybe Rocket Man as a movie was a little stronger cuz because the story they were telling with Elvis like the all the, the amount of epic things Elvis did in his lifetime just didn't fit into an out into a movie. It's just like they're skipping over moments. So it's like, dude, you could do so much on just this one moment and you're going through it in 2 minutes, you know? So as a movie, I felt like a, a narrative story. I don't feel like Elvis was the best. I don't think it belongs anywhere near uh, an Oscar nomination for that. Uh, Austin Butler, yes, definitely. And I think even amongst them, maybe, I mean, maybe take off like one of them. But but I will, and I think this is probably the main point because this is the stuff that I'm the strongest attached to, is the fact is, all right, whatever. If there wasn't a movie like The Batman out there this year that they left off in favor of it, I don't think I'd care. But now I do care. Because I, I mean, and, and especially in the same year that you're going to nominate everything everywhere all at once, in the same year that you're going to nominate it, uh, Avatar Shape of Water, which I, uh, the story was not perfect. It was not like there were some times that the story was a little, eh. 
but God. Visually great. It definitely yeah, deserves the best yeah. visual. <laughs> In fact, right. there should be no category for that this year. Right. It should just be them. Like they were already. <laughs> right. We, we just, we'll all concede we to that one. Table. Like right. we, we, we all know right. that that's the. In fact, I'm going to say now, if that doesn't win, it's got to be the most unjust Yo. thing that's <laughs> ever happened in the history <laughs> of the Oscars, bro. I mean, I couldn't, not, I could not express enough how it is visually the most the masterful thing, ever, thing made. Yeah. ever made on the silver screen. That's for People sure. We'll be talking about it like how fucking Citizen Kane lost to the How Green Is My Valley or something in like 39. But, but man, you know, in, in that sense, you know, again, I didn't see Austin Butler and Elvis, but I will just say this. It's hard for me to imagine, A, that movie being better, a better movie, period, in any way than the Batman. No way. No way. And then it's really even hard for me to to believe that Austin Butler playing Elvis was a better performance than my guy – Robert Pattinson playing Batman, man. Like, I thought he did not get he enough credit, credit, dude. No, I mean, he, like, he should have gotten There was so it. much stuff talked about on that movie. Colin Farrell, um, you know, uh, what's what's the guy's name that, that plays the Riddler? Uh, oh, uh, Paul Dano. Great, great. Yes, Again, Paul Dano. Great his? actor. Where's his? Um, but, yeah, but, but, but it was not talked about enough. No. How this Twilight boy that everybody doubted, everyone shit on, is the everyone best said he wasn't working out or dedicated to the role enough or whatever. At the end of the day, he's Batman. He is Period. Batman. He's Batman. And he brought it, man. He brought it in every way. He brought it with black mascara on his fucking eyes, man. No, Clooney didn't do that. No one else did that. You'll never see no one do it because no one's really got that... That the balls that Pattinson brings to that role. He's willing to do things that other people aren't. And I think, honestly, of all the iterations of Batman we've seen, and I know people love Bell, and I'm not the biggest fan of Christian Bell's Batman, but I think he has been the definitive version, bro. Not just the movie, but I don't think enough credit is given to A, yeah. how much of a great actor that Robert Pattinson is. He's one of the best actors on the planet, yeah, guys. Seriously. And people just don't see that because he made the great decision yeah. to get out of all of this shit that you guys want to criticize him for, like Twilight, to go underground, to work with these brilliant directors, to make movies like High Life, to make movies like Good Times, like great, real good indie movies that you don't see because you don't want real movies, right. even though you say you want real yeah, right. new Hollywood ideas, but you've never seen nothing Pattinson's been in but Twilight and Batman. Right. And so you're part of the problem. And if you don't understand that this dude is, listen, I don't know Austin Butler, and but for to even think that we could be putting these two people's names in the same sentences feels egregious. It feels crazy to think because Pattinson has put in a body of work that led him to be the Batman, bro. Right. And not just the Batman, but again, I will say it, the definitive version. He is the Batman. And if anyone we could have moving forward, we want to see no one more than to see this particular Batman continue moving forward. So it's hard for me to see now, that name and Elvis so many times. Man. Just just to just to I, I do want to make sure I defend defend my boy Fade Ruth's uh honor here, Austin Butler. Because look, I am I'm I am, well, everything you're saying about Pattinson. I could not agree more. He, if you have not seen his stuff, please shut the fuck up about your your whining and just go watch it. So, but I have to. I would put. I'd put Butler's performance in there in the same level, man. Because like, and I know Butler's a lot newer to the game, but that's what makes it all the more astounding. Because I'm telling you what, man. There's a lot of like very good biopic performances out there. You know, you got your Kyle McLaughlin as as Raymond Zirik in in the Doors. You got you, you got your your Rami, um, Rami Malek. Malek. Yeah, you've got some great of... ones out there. But look, Elvis, Elvis was and still is God to a lot of people, and and for the fact that he was accepted was accepted by those people as Elvis in this thing. I mean, and he was him like it was not a it was not a perform it was or it was a performance but it wasn't a it wasn't a mimic it wasn't anything like that it was like elvis 
freaking Presley, in all of his very particular glory, was resurrected and was living on the screen for young Trevor to see. And for that reason alone, that movie was really pretty cool because he was amazing, right? So him, he should be in there, but also Robert Patton should be in there. The right. rest of it, it should be switched. Like and, everything and see, that Elvis and, and, has besides that one and see, should have been given I could maybe agree, you know, just taking your opinion that, um, you know, Austin Butler deserves that. Nom. Nah, okay, I believe you. But does the movie Elvis oh. deserve a nom for best picture over the Batman? If you oh. told me that, I would look you dead in your eye and be like, you're a liar or you're stupid. You're still you're one of the two. I can't because even believe it's happening. Because again, that that Batman movie, dude, oh look, look. It's the best movie. Outside of, the year. of everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> It's the best film of the year, bro. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is the best film outside of everything, everywhere, all at once. And if you were to tell me, hey, I think it's better than everything, everywhere, all at once, I would hear you out. I would acknowledge your argument. But pretty much everything else, I wouldn't. These were the two superior films, so it's hard for me to, to acknowledge anything else being in there. But you guys are hearing this. You've seen all these lists of names. Is there snubs to you? Are there people that should or shouldn't be in there? Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below.